uh, just like this war of mine, there's no jokes, like, I have to actually be, I'm gonna be mature on this one. If there are jokes, it's because the game is allowed us to joke around, but no, this is kind of like, first and foremost, war is hell. That kind of sums it up. So, we're on this marathon. We're on part three of Valiant Hearts The Great War. Well, this was made by Ubisoft. You know, Ubisoft, you guys had balls before. But now, you guys, and I know I have made the joke that Ubisoft has become Disney. Well, it's kind of true. I mean, Ubisoft, you could have been up there with Nintendo. Nintendo was doing their own thing, and they're doing it their own way. Man, sad music's playing, so that kind of emphasized of how far Ubisoft has fallen. Ubisoft has potential, and I mean, after the success of the Assassin's Creed series before pretty much they peaked by Assassin's Creed 4, and then their quality has been a roller coaster for good reason. I mean, they're giving us kind of either games that give us way too much, and I don't, I don't mind that. Sometimes you, substance is awesome in games that are an open world. But you gave us kind of unnecessary stuff along with that. I don't think it's in every Assassin's Creed, but you could say, you can tell that their quality has dipped. My gosh, that music is gorgeous. But I think it's been, I think we have beat on the drum, and it's like being a dead horse. We have a lot of videos talk about how Ubisoft has fallen. They have, they, they really have. And I was cool with them. I was absolutely cool with them until we got Assassin's Creed Rogue and the new titles for the PS4 and up. They really... You know what they need to do? Take their time. That's all they need to do. And also, they need to go back to doing, like, single IPs. Like, one-off IPs. One-off titles. Kind of like Valiant Hearts. Even if it doesn't make them a lot of money, it seems like this is where the developers were passionate about. You can tell when they do singular, singular or one-off titles, their game quality is astounding. It's actually well done. It's too bad that they don't sell well, because I think they deserve like, all the recognition and acknowledgement. Like, Child of Light or a Far Cry series, now Ubisoft is about making a franchise continue until they have no writing materials or the developers actually left too. But I digress. I feel like I've been saying this for a while too. I'm not, I'm, I'm not the only one saying it. A lot of people who stuck it with Ubisoft since the first Assassin's Creed game. People who are still fan of Ubisoft. Respect to that. But even they realize that their quality has dipped over a while. Especially in the Assassin's Creed series. Well anyway. Now let's get started. Sorry, this music makes me very introspective, so of course I think immediately of Ubisoft. Okay, so I had some weird editing to do. Now, uh, let me face it. I had to kind of start over on one of the sections in Chapter 1 because I didn't catch that footage or I did this in between streaming. So I am going to go ahead and start at the beginning of this section, not all of Chapter 1. Just this section. Once we're done, then we'll be in kind of familiar to or unfamiliar territory for me. So, let's get started. Amidst the never-ending attacks and counterattacks, Freddy and Emil hunted the elusive Baron and his regiment in Ypres. August 22nd, 1915. All right, this is actually a good spot of where I was before. On yeah. April 22nd, 1915, chlorine gas was used for the first time by the Germans. Well, it's not the first time the gas has been used by the Germans. You know what I mean. Alright, boy. That's a good die. Good die. Turn off that chlorine gas. Good doggy, as we are pretty much in gas. Ali, we, 
You're a good doggy. Merci, Walt. Merci, pit cool. Okay, let's go. Oh, what is it, boy? You found some treats? You found some treasure? Good doggy. No, 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 don't go away. You get all the belly rubs. Good doggy. What? You deserve all the belly rubs. You know why you deserve all the belly rubs? Because you're a good dog. That's right. Good doggy. All right, now let's go. I played the sequence, so of course I know what happens. Dude. That's kind of unsanitary to use your wooden spoon that you clearly use for cooking. Yeah, give me a sec. Good doggy. Historically wise, dogs were used in wars to detect landmines, enemy soldiers, enemy soldiers that were hiding in ambush and the list goes on. So this is nothing unheard of of having the dogs there. What? What? Put me down in a literal sense. Thank you. What a very useful and actually useful dog. I mean, it's pretty obvious that means what the skull means freaking death. Yeah, that's not an easy thing to move, but you can do it, old man. I mean, you are belt like you ate for two people. I'm called him fat, indeed. And a minute. Daddy is pushing an actual heavy cart. Bring it down. Thank you. Yeah, this guy is pretty freaking strong if he could just lift all of that. That looks like that's bat breaking work. Just say. Respect to Emil about that. Wait, what's his name, Emil? Oh, the freaking phone. To make sure I get this right. No, no, he's not. Yeah, he's not in his mail. What is his name? It's been so long. Gosh, that is such depressing music whenever we play the history about them. Yes, it has cartoon visuals, but you could tell that it gets dark in this game. Oh no, it's an easy puzzle, I just saw this earlier. Do your thing, doggy. That seems bad. That actually looks really bad. Lift off. That seems bad. Yay! And you know, he could have died. No, seriously. Old man should have died from just that chloride gas and being in a contained area. He should have suffocated to death. Including his dog, but nope. 
He's apparently okay. Wait, is that a COVID mask? A urine soap club? What the? Okay. Let's read this. The only defense against a gas attack. I feel like that would be kind of not useful before masks were introduced. That music's so gorgeous. It just makes you feel like a lot of people die for our generation to thrive and all that. It's just like a very intimate and very personal with the music. Note to self, download Valiant Hearts soundtrack. I wonder how Valiant Hearts Coming Home soundtrack sounds. I'm just surprised that we are getting a sequel. Is it a DLC or is it actually a proper sequel? Man, that music's depressing. Makes me feel all kinds of things. Well, anyway, it was to cover the nose with a urine-soaked handkerchief. Handkerchief. Why would they... Why would anyone want to cover a urine-soaked handkerchief? Why, why would they do that? Urine reacts with... So you're literally putting your... Oh, I'm sorry, I have to do a double take. Urine-soaked cloth that you're putting on your face. Wouldn't that give you some kind of, like, uh, STD? Whose urine is it? I hope it's not someone actually pissing on that bloody thing and actually telling you, like, wear this. I'm like, I was like, I think I'll just get another mask. Like a COVID mask or something, I don't know. Anyway, uh, urine reacts with chloride directly in the handkerchief to four less noxious products, limiting the effects. It was not the most hygienic solution, you think? But it was always better than a lung full of hydrochloric acid. I think I'd rather have an actual clean mask instead of a urine soak cloth of someone who could have had an STD. Uh, uh, no, thank you. I'm sorry, a urine cloth cloth. Thank you. That's just... Now I'm never going to get that out of my mind. You got it, bro. Hmm. Oh, that's never good. More core, I guess. Okay, that's not good. Ah! Doggy! Help! We are going to die! Oh no! All right, well, can I use my handy dandy? Can I just climb up? Can't, hey! Or not, that can work too. Come on, doggy, let's go! I know! Germans are dickheads! Well, not Germans specifically, Nazis are dickheads. Sorry, Germans. Hmm. Hurry! I am trying to hurry up. That looks like an explosive. Okay. That can work. Get in there! I got you, boy. You know, because of explosive and all that. Um... Oh! Oh, that's not good. Go get it, boy! Hurry! Okay, uh... Oh, shoot. Good job, boy! I'm coming! Get it! Drop the phone! I am coming! Uh, okay. Yeah, you're probably screwed, bro. Get it! Drop the phone! Drop the phone, boy! Or that could work. 
Come on, you. get it. Get it. Or back at work. Oh, back at work. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. You will. Don't worry, friend. Oh, well, everybody's useful. We got Freddy. We got him. Yeah, let's roll. Huh? What's this? Oh, that's even worse. Oh, well, anyway, let's read this historical significance. Well, you know, the Germans are trying. I mean, they're Nazis, right? Yeah, let's just acknowledge it. Man, that music's still depressing. Anyway, pocket watch. Time was an important factor in soldiers' lives and military strategies for attacks, and rowing barrages were based on light, chronological, um, synergy? Synergy? Uh, I probably butcher that. Pocket watches were the only way to tell the time. Yeah, because, you know, we didn't have smart watches back then. Man, that music's depressing. In a very profound and really solid way. Time to run! Go, 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 go! Dig! 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 Ah! This was all kinds of horrible! Oh! Big damn hero! Her name was Anna, a Belgian student living in Paris. She was hard on the trail of her missing father. For once, fate smiled on them. They were all going in the same direction. But while approaching Vimy, a German squadron spotted them. Of course they did. Are they doing a cliche? Is this going to be copyrighted? Hey! Oh, I love this bit. Oh. Drive, woman, drive! Wait, the German attacking is matching up with the music. I love this bit. Go team Belgium. Oh shit. This is such a great sequence. Da 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 da. This is the type of musical stuff I live for. Yeah! Oh, that's, um, bad. Da, da, da. I got hit! Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is such an amazing sequence. Ubisoft, you are capable of this. What the heck? Why are you so focused on money when you have gold like this? That's not good. Oh no! Freddy! I love that sequence. Don't you dare kill him off, he's fan favorite. Don't worry! Wait, is this enemy territory? I was wondering what that comic book style was. Okay, go, 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 go! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, 
Ubisoft. Ubisoft. What the heck? Why are you so focused on selling, getting money, than quality? This is fantastic. I love this bit. Oh, that can help. Yeah, go in there, you mustache douchebag. Come on. I got better things to do. Maybe I could just send the dog to get it. Good doggy. You're a good doggy. Thank you. Oh yeah, right. There's a throwing receptacle. Dig it! Come on. Really? My gosh, the music's fantastic too. I love the entire like da 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 da. I'm gonna give this game a good score, and I know I am. All right, hold on. How? That was terrible. Merci beaucoup, cool. doggy doggy. All right, maybe if I aim it this way. Oh, well, that's a perfect shot. Cool. Third time's the charm, indeed. Oh no! Oh no! Run! 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 You didn't see me. I'm already gone. I hope he doesn't use that wind spoon whenever he's cooking. I probably could have gone further once I think about it. Oh no! Okay, so yeah, pay attention to stuff like that. <laughs> That's entertaining. Well, that's something. Uh oh. No, seriously, this game is a gem. I, even I highly recommend to play this one. If you don't mind art style like this, you're gonna love this game. I'm sorry, they're not gonna question a dog here, too? Yep, they're just gonna run back and forth. Sweet. Hey, go in there. I mean, you got suppliers. What you got there? I am weirdly entertained by this. Yeah, not like my wooden spoon is actually going to help that. Probably all the way to the left. That's what I'm thinking. Fine. What was the hit? I don't see anything over there. Probably all the way over there.
<laughs> this really puts a new meaning in the heart of the enemy. Am I right? Or am I right? Probably all the way over there. I can use the grenade for that. Oh, he's got it. Cool. How the heck did they not notice um, my main character? I mean, he's pretty at large, so I feel like he wouldn't be able to do like solid snake kind of stuff level like this. I'm so entertained by that. All right, well, I will probably get it. All right, just keep going. Just keep going. Come on, fat man. So I imagine we're going to use it for over there. So these enemy soldiers are not going to question why a dog is on enemy line. They're just going to let it pass through like normal. All right, whatever. It's crazy. Even when the story gets dark, I find that amazing that it doesn't, like, make this so lighthearted. It actually is dark, and the art style just kind of puts you in that mindset of, like... I can't believe back in those days they used urine soaked cloth to block gas. That's pretty. I I get it. For Hunter Club Asic and back to those times, they had nothing. But still, that's disgusting. Ah, cool. Looks like a periscope, huh? So it's to observe enemy trenches without drawing fire. Officers and soldiers use periscopes. Mirrors, my gosh, that music is still depressing. Mirrors mounted in a tube that could be raised above the parapet with no risk to health. Interesting. I just love that the enemies are just annoying a dog. Yeah, in terms of V is a victory, in terms of the V section, this is a great start. I don't have a lot of V is in victory. 
Hopefully that changes in the future, but still, this is a great start. This is kind of when Ubisoft actually tried. Hurry up. Come on, come on, come on. German soldiers, Nazis are coming. Is that drums? Ah, more history lesson with depressing music. Elaborate. Vimy and Nuivi, wait, Vimy and Nuivi Zeit Vaza were two positions in the Germans were quick to fortify. Here they built the Elaborate, a complex network of trenches and tunnels connected to underground sleeping quarters. Allied armies unsuccessfully attempted to seize the key position on numerous occasions. Due to the huge number of casualties in late 1915, the position was declared Impregnable. Impregnable. Imperishable. Now, I feel like I pronounced it right before. I probably did it, but. Oh, wow. You know, Ubisoft, when you guys actually try with new IPs, you guys are not all the time successful, but this is kind of the, the rare times that it's successful. Oh, hello! Uh... Yeah, go back in your sleeping corner, you mustache douchebag. There's nothing groundbreaking about these puzzles, but what they do well is the fact that it adds to the narrative in the gameplay. It just changes it up. There's diversity in terms of the gameplay. Uh oh. Get him. Yep, you're about to go to sleep. Good doggy. Thank you for help distracting that guard so I can hit him with the wooden spoon that's been through everything. My, this chef guy literally dug underground where there are maggots, worms, and bacteria that known to man, and dirt, and he used that to dig his way to freedom. Crazy. Hey. Is this Lex going? You okay, buddy? That's dynamite. Yep, that is definitely dynamite. Uh oh. Oh, well, that makes more sense. Alright, all we need to do is connect the wires to the detonator, and it's showtime. This is gonna be fun. Hmm? Where's the scale? Get it, doggy. Get it, boy. Come on, boy. Think you can get it? Thanks for the dynamite. Oh, who good with a belly rub? Hmm. Let's hit it. Oh, well, it's not hooked up to anything. I think I can get it. Come on, I can get that. It's just right there. Why can I not get it? It's just right easily right there. Hmm? I know. I get that. Ah, I made another time. Get back here. Here, doggy. Take this dynamite. Blow crap off. Let's go, boy. Time to kill some Nazis. Through ingenuity. 
cavalo. minutes that we've done. 35 minutes. Respectable. I don't think he sees me. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Right there. Oh yeah. Things are about to get real explosive. Good. Now get back. What the I thought you put it down. Okay, I think he did it. Q explosion. What? Hmm. I thought that was supposed to work. All right. Well, the hint is saying right there. Unlock the hint. Huh? My dog is fetching out. Hey, good doggy. I guess I'm supposed to hit it there. Guess I'll have you put it there. Guess I'll put it right here. That didn't work. Okay. So it looks like we're putting it right there. What? What? I don't see anything we can pull. And it's not like something we can just hit with the wooden spoon to cause it to fall. Hey, hey. Here, boy. Get back here. Let's go. I'm doing wrong. Where is that at? What? What? Uh, is that dog coming? That dog is still not coming.
Where's my dog? What? What the heck? My dog literally glitched out. Get in there. Come on. This game is not that glitchy. Is it because you don't want to go over there? Huh. A little bit of glitches, but not too bad. Huh. I am not... I'm not getting it. Well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and quit. Ubisoft, you had something really solid with this one. It is not a bad piece. Yeah, so danger from above. And then after that, we're going to be moving a little bit closer. Okay, so 1914 to 15. So I get it. Gosh, that's such depressing music, but it's done exceptionally well. Yeah, there will definitely be more Valiant Hearts, The Great War coming up in the future, and I won't make any promises, but hopefully the, we'll be able to cover Valiant Hearts coming home, because that is apparently a sequel. I don't know if it's like DLC, or this is a proper new game for Valiant Great Hearts. Or sorry, Great War, The Great War. But of course you can leave that like, comment, or subscribe. This was a strong start for the Vias and Victory title. This will this will, will this section won't take me long because I don't have a lot of titles. So once we get through that, I say let's head straight to W's and Water and X's and X-ray. I know I'm using a lot of like phonetics, but it's the uh, it, you know, it's kinda clever. Alright, well let's move on. <laughs>